The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Brickeen. Brought to you by... Give the bug man a call. We get them before they get you. Harvey Auto in Shreveport, Bossier City. The name you have trusted for years. Here's your host, Lieber Keen. Welcome back, Lieber Keen, uh, with the Sports Scouting Report podcast. And look, be sure to do YouTube if you're watching the show. Um, hit the free subscription button and the bell, and it'll remind you when we do a new show. We're at Dutchtown High School today. Um, we got a couple of, actually three recruits we're going to interview. Two are going to be on one show together, and then another one's going to be on his own show. But they're all going to be put up to be watched by all the Dutchtown Griffin fans and all the Louisiana fans that like football. Um, but we got a class of 224 recruit with me today at Dutchtown, Cade Mackey. Cade, thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. So what's it like playing for Coach Mistretta? Oh, man, it's, it's a blessing, honestly. Uh, he pushes us to the best of the ability, you know. Uh, our dedication comes from Coach Mistretta. He's very hard on us because he knows our potential and what we can do this season. You're a sleeper recruit, you know, and, and sometimes people say sleeper. Well, when I think of sleeper, I'm like, you're not nationally known, but you can end up being one of those guys. Yes, sir. Like Samson. Um, and you're in that, that, that wheelhouse. You've been a, a very good starter for coach. You're a leader. Um, 5'11", you said 176. Yes, sir. You can run. Yes, sir. Uh, you're a DB. You're a running back, right? Yes, sir. Um, what do you think you're going to play in college? What are the recruiters recruiting you to play? Uh, DB, for DB. sure. Yes, sir. Corner, nickel, safety? Uh, corner, I've been to camps where I played safety. They really like me, so. Okay. I mean, honestly, I'm an athlete. I can play anywhere. Talk about some colleges you've been talking to, and, and who are they, some colleges? Uh, Mississippi State, uh, Tulane. Uh, I've been talking to Southeastern, Coach okay. Tom. Okay. Uh, I'm actually uh, recently in contact with him right now. So. Any offers early? Uh, uh, Southeastern, I had a private workout with him. They're checking out, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Coach Tom said that he really likes me, Coach Lee. Okay. Uh, but my only offer right now is LCU. Okay, and it's early on. I mean, it's early. There would be a lot of offers during the season. But when you say private workout, they'll actually have you do drills. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. And uh, that's kind of be nervous in a way, right? Uh, I mean, honestly, Love no, it. because, you know, as a, they do specific drills that, you know, I, my footwork is amazing. So, honestly, used to I just it. go out there, yeah, because, I mean, if you're scared, you, I mean, you got to have confidence. You're there you scared, go. There you go. If you're scared, I mean, you're just going to mess yourself over, you know. So hobbies, what are your hobbies? Uh, I like fishing. Okay. Uh, we go to Venice. Saltwater. Yes, sir. Trout, reds? Honestly, reds. You catch some flounder every now and then? Not really. I, I mean, I don't fish like that. I and mean, I don't know all the I got you. I got you. Of fishing, Just the regular, regular yes, stuff, huh? <laughs> um, anybody you want to talk to or give a shout out to in the family for getting uh, yeah. to where you are today? My mama and my dad, they uh, sacrificed everything for me, you know? If, if I didn't, you know, when I didn't have a car, they would take me everywhere. My mama would get off of work. She works three jobs, too, so she's a hard-working woman. Sound like my mom growing mm -hmm. up. I would help her when I got off of school to go work and help yep. her clean offices <laughs> back in the day. She had three jobs. But, look, before we go, if you had it, if you could point on a map, Caden, and pick a school, if it was up to you, who would that school be? Uh, honestly, it would be Florida State. Seminole? Yes, sir. How do they do their thing? Is it like this? Yeah, like, just like that. Work done, or I mean, what, what's the relation there? This uh, kid, well, this my kid? cousins, my cousins went there. So, oh, okay. Yes, sir. And also, uh, my cousins also went to Alabama. Bradley Silv, he was in the NFL. South Plaquemines High School. Yes, sir. Yeah, oh man, that's a, an old name to throw out. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Florida State currently has seven Louisiana players on their roster, really? and they're going to play LSU in Orlando. Ooh. It's going to be a good game. Yes, sir. That's the first game of the season. Did you know that? One of the first games. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're playing in Orlando. It's going to be the battle of uh, who can crack the top ten and stay in it first week. But, Caden, thank you for joining yes, us. Yes, sir. Thank you for having Class me. Class of 224, DB, corner, another DB from Dutchtown High School, another D1 player and a great young man, as you saw, and, and he's got a great future. We'll be back with another recruit from Dutchtown High School, and you'll meet one more Class of 224 player. And we have a 225 player that we'll talk to as well. We'll be right back. What does a bug man do? Not only do we do pest control, we do odor control, bat removal, moisture control, rodents, and of course, bed bug control. Give the bug man a call. We get them before they get you. 
Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Hi, everyone. We're back with the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee King. We're at Dutchtown High School. You, you met Caden Mackey, a great DB, class of 224. There's a tight end at Dutchtown. You know, you don't hear the word tight end at high schools very much. Not in Louisiana. This is not Illinois and California where there's six, five tight ends all over the place. You don't even see it at Dutchtown very often, but uh, they have a young man, uh, Dylan DeSherry, who's going to be a senior coming up, 224, six foot five. And Dylan, I'm guessing 230? Yes, sir. Did I hit that right? Yes, sir. I'm just guessing. Yeah, right around 230. Nice to meet you, man. Yes, sir. I've seen your game in that running offense when you are going straight down the middle of the field. Right. I saw you catch a ball last year and just like outrun the safety, the lineman. I'm like, that big kid can go. He don't even know what he's got yet. Right. And uh, hands are good. It's, yeah, it's, it's been a work in progress. You know, growing up, I, I played O-line. I was a little short kid. You were short? I was, I was a real okay. short dude at <laughs> elementary school. And then uh, shot up through middle school, started playing wide receiver safety. You know, came to Dutchtown, and they really had a plan for me to, to play tight end with my frame. Under these coaches, they really turned me into a player that I became. What people don't realize, I do, and I know you do, coaches sitting here watching, you got to block. Oh, yeah. You can't just sit there and, like, be a receiver. No. So you're, you're trying to become that complete tight end? Oh, yeah. That's, that's one of my favorite parts of the game, you know, getting down in the trenches with the O-line. We had a very great O-line last year. Helped me a lot with uh, success. It's, it's a big part of the game, been working on it. Coach Joseph Venus, the offensive line coach, he's really been helping me with my blocking and my steps. So, What, do you, what is your biggest thing you got to learn in blocking? I know hands are real important. Yeah. Uh, you know, getting on these big DNs and linebackers coming out. Yeah, it's really about, you know, hand placement, like you said, steps, staying low. What do you, what do you think when the, when the call is a pass to you in the huddle, like, I'm getting it, or I'm going to get a shot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's my, you know, I'm ready to, ready to go put on a show. Because high school tight ends only average like 15 catches a year. Right. Even all Americans. Right. So if you get 10, 15 catches, you might get three, four TDs. you gotta, you got to catch those balls, right? Right. right. <laughs> Coach is like, it might be third and two, might be fourth and one, whatever trickery they want to do. But um, So who do you like growing up, uh, Dylan? Who, who's some colleges uh, that if you could spin the wheel – if this was a will of fortune and you got three schools and they're your favorites, who are your three? Uh, definitely growing up, my number one would be Louis, uh, Louisiana State University. Okay. My, my uncle played there, been, been at the game since I was little. Andy Stroop? Yes, sir. From East St. John, I want to mention that. Yep. Uh, and then I would probably say Florida State, they've always been a big. This Florida State thing going on at <laughs> Dutchtown. Okay. I really love their school, it's, okay. it's a great school. Um, and then third, I, I visited Starkville this summer. Uh, and I really like their campus. Come back with a cowbell or what? <laughs> no? <laughs> nah. The, the cowbell is, is, it's annoying, but it's the greatest thing I've ever seen oh, yeah. in, in a game. And they won the national championship in baseball three years ago. Ole Miss won it two years ago. And who won it this year? LSU. LSU. Baby. Did you watch? I did. Who's your favorite LSU baseball player? Do you have one? I would probably say this year's Skeens. What a, what a stud, huh? He's been great. It's a great story coming from Air Force and, you know, going first overall on the draft. It's a big year for him. You ever seen a pitcher throw a ball 100 and it looks like it's barely coming out of his glove? I know. He's, he's no effort. And then Thatcher Hurd's going to be the stud next year. Yep. From California, from UCLA. Speaking of football, district, who do you enjoy playing the most every year? Gosh, I think EA. EA is always a, a good game. Last year we went to overtime. Won it with the last play of the game in overtime on a trick play. So it's going to be a good one to watch this year. Uh, who, anybody offer you? Up yes, to sir. Uh, South Dakota was my first offer. Wow. South Dakota University. A uh, few more should be coming soon. Um, I had another private workout with Southeastern. I'm, I visited Lamar University. In Beaumont. Okay. Yep. And then and, uh, yeah. Nichols on Thursday. I'm going South there. Dakota has a Louisiana kid from Turlings Catholic. Yep. Yes, sir. He was all world last year, had like 1,800 yards receiving. Uh, going the first kid from Louisiana to go to South Dakota. There's North Dakota and South Dakota. They both won national championships. Yes, sir. Uh, not a bad place to go. No, sir. I, I uh, went on an official visit there earlier this summer. It's it's nice, nice. Close place. to Minnesota, close yeah. to Canada, 
close to uh, Nebraska, really. Nebraska, too. Yes, Cold, sir. but, you know, not too bad. No. Um, hobbies? Uh, I like to golf. Golfing's been fun. I want golf. You're a 6'5 yes, golfer, like oh, yeah. a John Daly or something? <laughs> uh, are you pretty good putting or driving? Uh, driving. A baseball guy, so I like to get okay. after it on the golf course. So, LSU, if you're watching the show, I know they have Taylor right now, Jason, uh, his, uh, you know, Mason Taylor. And they've got some other great tight ends, but what a catch by a tight end in the game against Alabama. Oh, right? yeah, I was there. Is that the dream play for a tight oh, end? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable yes, play. Unbelievable. Dylan, good luck to you. I'm glad to meet you and I meet Caden. And we've got another teammate of yours coming on yes, pretty soon, but good luck to you. Thank man. you. Dylan DeSherry, tight end, Dutchtown High School class of 224, 6'5, 230 pounds, and can run and has great hands. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed the show. And in our next show, we're going to have another Dutchtown kid, but he's a class of 225 player from Dutchtown High School. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brookings.